deriving the slope-intercept form of an equation, lesson 4.2c. In this lesson, we're going to explain the source, the origin of the slope-intercept equation. We've got y as our output, m as our rise over our run, our slope, x as the input, and b is where the line crosses the y-axis, it's the y-intercept. So the first thing we're going to do, step one, is we're going to let L be a line with slope M and Y-intercept B. One ordered pair on this line will contain zero for X, and the location where the line crosses the Y-axis as the Y-intercept B as zero B. That'll be our ordered pair. Here's step two. We're going to remember that the slope is the ratio of change in Y to the change in X. We can complete the equation for slope m of the line using the y-intercept 0, b, and another point, x, y. We have m is equal to y minus b over x minus 0. So if this is our line, we have a point at the y-intercept. It's where the line crosses the y-axis. This is a 1. This is a 0 for x, a 1 for y. We're going to say it's 0B because that's the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. It's the same thing. This point is just going to be XY, but in reality, it's 5 for X and 3 for Y. We've got M is equal to Y minus B, Y minus B, the second value minus the first value, and X minus 0, the second X minus the first X. And if we have X minus 0, well, that's just X. So here's step three. In an equation of a line, we often want y by itself on one side of the equal sign. We can solve the equation from step two for y. We had y minus b over x. We simplified the denominator. x minus zero is going to stay x, isn't it? Now we multiply both sides of the equation by x. We do times x on this side, times x on this side. And what's going to happen is we've got these two x's are going to cancel each other out so that we have m times x on this side is equal to y minus b. Now what we do is we add b to both sides of the equation to create a zero pair here, minus b plus b. On the left side, we get mx plus b, and on the right side, we have y. We rewrite the equation with y on the left side. We have y is equal to mx plus b, an equation in slope-intercept form. When the slope of a line passes through the origin at 0, 0, the y-intercept b is equal to 0. The location where the line crosses the y-axis is 0. This means the equation can be written as y is equal to mx, since plus zero will not affect its value. We don't have to put plus b at the end of this for plus zero. That's not going to affect its value. We can just write it as y is equal to mx. We can determine the slope and y-intercept of an equation by just looking at the equation. Here we have y is equal to 5x plus 4. We know that this value, this would have been the m value, that's the slope. The slope is 5. That means the rise over run is a 5 over 1. It's the coefficient of x. The y-intercept is 4, the b value of the equation, which is the constant. Every line of the form y is equal to mx plus b has a y-intercept of b. We can prove this by substituting 0 for x. If we have y is equal to m times 0 plus b, we're going to have y is equal to m plus b. The y value is equal to the slope plus the y-intercept. Here we've got the slope formula. We have the first x value and the first y value, the second x value and the second y value of ordered pairs. Remember to subtract the x values in the same order we subtract the y values to get the correct answer. If we're starting with the second y value and subtracting the first one, we can't start with the first x value. If we start with the second one, we've got to start with the second x value. 
Also, remember, if the line falls to the right, the slope will be a negative number. We've got for point one, a zero and two, and for point two, we have a two and a one. So we're going to do one minus two over two minus zero, and it's falling to the right. One minus two is negative one, and two minus zero is two. We have negative one half. We have a negative slope. We're finished with lesson 4.2. We're moving on to 4.3, and we're going to be using slope-intercept form to graph a line. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.